who their favorite player was when they were a kid, and why. And I'll start with Z. Favorite player as a kid. Uh, I grew up in San Diego, so uh, my favorite player was Tony Gwynn. And, uh, he was, you know, he was consistent, like you were talking about. And uh, they would always talk about no matter what kind of accolades he had, uh, batting titles. He was always the first guy to show up, hitting off the tee. Um, I went down there in 01 in interleague, and unfortunately he was on the DL, so I, I had one opportunity to face him, and it didn't. But, uh, you know, it was it was pretty special watching him play. So. You met him? Have you met him? Uh, yeah, I used to be like 10 years old at baseball camps growing up and, you know, shaking his hand. and So now I see him, I'm still starstruck. We just, uh, Boach and him were hanging out in the weight room in uh, San Diego, and I was still like, you know, wide-eyed. And that's the way it should be. Buster? Yeah. Uh, growing up in Georgia, watched the Braves a lot, so uh, it was a good time for pitchers. Yeah, I actually liked a lot of the pitchers, Maddox, Glavin, Smoltz. Uh, watched Chipper a lot, which was kind of cool because I got to play with him in the All-Star game this year. So, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good time to be a Braves fan yeah, as a kid. It really was. The Riot, favorite player and why? I had a couple. Um, I love Cal Ripken Jr. And... Uh, and then Ozzie Smith, because he did flips whenever he ran out to the field. Did you ever try to do one? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work out to me. <laughs> Hunter, favorite player growing up as a kid? Well, growing up in Arlington, uh, I got to see a lot of no-hitters from the man Nolan Ryan. Yeah. And you've met him, I'm sure? I've met him. I got to got to meet him. Actually, he owned my double-A team, so it was like, kind of, I was, he was my boss, too. There you go. Skip, as a kid, who'd you like? Dwayne Kuyper. Yeah. That's <laughs> Growing up, I, I never missed a game. I saw that home run he hit. <laughs> Uh, Cleveland. Oh, right. there you go. All right. You're not going to get off that easy. Seriously, you had to, I know you moved around, military kid. Yeah, I did, and uh, I was a, a little bit of a Yankees fan and Reds fan, so I really had a couple. I know, I know, I'm not now. No. You can't hold that against me, but uh, growing up, I was a huge uh, Mickey Mantle fan. I played power switch hitter and all that, and then when I started catching in high school, I, I was a big Johnny Bench fan. Logie, oh. you know you're going to get a, a big roar if you say Mike Kruko. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that. <laughs> no, uh, being a, I was an infielder uh, until college. I didn't pitch till college, so being a shortstop, I was a huge Cal Ripken Jr. fan too. Yeah, and you just, just the fact that he played every day. Well, I was. Where I grew up over on in, by Philly, I was actually kind of closer to Baltimore, so um, I was a Phillies fan, but Cal Ripken Jr. was my guy, and uh, I got a chance to meet him last year at the All-Star Game for the first time, and uh, one of the special moments of being at the All-Star Game was meeting him. It was, it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll go back the other way. 